Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my Kmart must-haves. There's no denying it, I am a little bit obsessed with Kmart and I feel like over the many, many years that I've been shopping there, I have acquired a few things that have just genuinely made my life better or have made my house feel more like a home or have made my life easier or more organized or whatever it may be. And today I want to share those things with you. So today I'm just going to be taking you guys around my house and sharing with you some of my favorite Kmart purchases. I will also make sure that the link is down below if you wanna have a look online at that item. And of course, I'll tell you guys the prices of every item as well. I have tried to make sure that all of the items that I'm sharing with you today are still sold on their online store and hopefully that means also in their physical stores as well. But there are a few items that are no longer available, but I still wanted to share them with you guys in case you can find something similar somewhere else. Maybe Kmart sells something similar, just not exactly the same at this point in time or because I believe that they might bring it back. But without further ado, let's get into some of my favorite Kmart purchases. I've decided that I'm gonna do this vlog style, so I'm just gonna carry you guys around the house. But we are gonna start off with my favorite furniture and home decor purchases. And the first one is this little table. So this is actually a desk, and I have used this as a desk in the past, but we are currently using it as like a bit of an entryway table. And I'm pretty sure this is $49. We definitely still could add a bit more here but it is just a great size and such a cute color. I bought that desk in 2016. It is now 2021. That is five years ago and it is still going strong. I first bought it to be the background of my sit down videos back when I was in high school. If you guys have watched me since I lived at home at my parents house you will have seen it then. I've also used it as a desk and now we're using it as an entryway table. This desk has come along with me to every single house that I've lived in since living out of home and that is one, two, four. This is the fifth house that it has been in or sixth if you count my parents house because I still had it back then. If you are using it as a desk it is definitely on the smaller side and it doesn't have any built-in storage but it is a great desk. I think it's really cute and I genuinely recommend it. Five years going strong for a piece of $49 furniture. I think that's pretty good. The next piece of furniture I have to show you is this mirror. This is a full length mirror and yes, I am wearing slippers. And again, this is a piece that I've had since I lived at home with my parents. I think I actually bought this one in 2017 for $40 and they still stock it now. So you can definitely still buy this. I feel like so many people own this mirror and I totally understand why. It is so hard to find a full length mirror this sort of size for $40. I've never seen something that cheap unless it's in like an op shop or something. It's not not absolutely huge. You can read the dimensions on their website. You can definitely get bigger full length mirrors, but for the price, this is genuinely such a good deal. The next piece of furniture I have to share with you guys is this armchair. They do still sell this one. I've had it for a few years now. I'm pretty sure it's about $69 and I love this chair. This chair looks so similar to so many more expensive versions of it and it was only $69 and that is incredible. Let me just say it is not the most comfortable chair that I've ever sat in but it's also not uncomfortable. It's just not super super cushiony and it's not very big. I definitely recommend seeing it in store to make sure you're happy with the size of it but it's honestly perfect for me. This used to be my everyday reading chair where I'd like read my Bible in the morning and stuff like that. I have upgraded since then but I still love this chair and I think it is such a great furniture piece especially for the price. Moving on to home decor I feel like so much of the decor that we have in our home is from Kmart and I want to show you some of my favorite pieces. On our coffee table we have this little setup and all of these things are from Kmart. The marble tray, the candle and the bottle all from Kmart. I'm pretty sure this was $1.50, this was like maybe around $5 and the tray was $15 and I feel like it looks so much more expensive than that but I love it. Behind that on our actual couch this throw rug is also from Kmart. I think it's called like the Zara throw. I think it's about $20 and this is one of my favorite purchases. Buying throw blankets can be so expensive and this one is so inexpensive, so beautiful and so cozy. Here is a close-up of the texture. I think it is so gorgeous. I almost I just want to buy a second one so that I can have one in this room and then one in our bedroom or one in my office because I love it. And then all of our throw pillows except for this one here are all from Kmart. So this one here is from Spotlight but the circle, the square and the fluffy one behind it all Kmart. And all of these were I'm pretty sure under $15. I think this one was even eight dollars whereas this one from spotlight was I think 25 to 35 dollars so Kmart throw pillows 
definitely a lot more affordable. And we love our Kmart throw pillows in this house. These three on our bed are all from Kmart as well. And this one on the chair in my office is of course from Kmart as well. Another home decor purchase that I find myself constantly getting from Kmart are plant pots. If you guys are following me for a while, you guys know I love my plants. And plant pots can be just as expensive, if not more expensive than the plants themselves. But I feel like Kmart has a really great range of plant pots and they are really great prices as well. So I'm going to show you a few of the ones that I have. We have this one up here, this larger one down here, this one in our bathroom with this poppers. This one is also from Kmart, not sure if they still have this one. This one here and the one below it as well. And this one here that comes on a little wooden stand which is beautiful. I actually do have some more pots from Kmart but I think you've got the idea. Another little part of Kmart that I always find myself drawn to is their baskets. I do try to find a lot of my baskets from op shops and thrift stores because obviously it's better to give something a second life that already exists. However, there are some times where I need a certain size or there's something specific that I need a basket for that I just can't seem to find at an op shop. And let me show you some of the ones that I have found from Kmart. Not all of these are in stock anymore, but I still wanna show you. Firstly, we have this little pair, which are beautiful. Another pair that came in a little set. We have this one, which I use as a plant pot. And we have this one, which I use as a bin under my desk. We have another plant pot. Excuse the toilet, but we have a great storage solution for toilet paper. This little fruit basket is technically from Kmart, but I actually found it at an op shop, so I did get it secondhand but you can still buy this one as well. I think those are all of my Kmart baskets, but obviously I use them for a bunch of different things. And the last little home decor purchase that I wanted to show you before we move on to our next category is this blanket. This is one of their soft touch blankets and it is literally the softest thing ever. Kmart genuinely have the best blankets for the best price. This huge one here is a queen to king size and it was $14. We have got it on our bed now because it is getting a bit colder here, but I think I almost want to get a second one to put on our couch so we can snuggle up there as well. Moving on to our next category of purchases and it is organization. The first two things are these little bamboo desktop organizers. So they are purchased separately but of course you could just buy one or the other if you don't need both. The desk that I currently have doesn't have a lot of built-in storage so these are my lifesaver. I love stationery, I love craft, I love my bullet journal. So these are all things that I use genuinely on pretty much a daily basis. So in here we have my scissors as well as pens, pencils, fine liners, stuff like that. And here we have pretty much everything else. It has so much storage and you can have so much in here without it taking up hardly any room on your desktop. Can you tell I'm obsessed with it? Another organizational piece that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this monthly planner. This is $3.00 could not recommend it enough. I use this to keep track of when all my videos are going up, when I have any social events, and I just love being able to see the whole month at a glance. I also have this weekly version, which is definitely a little bit different. I use this one specifically for time blocking because it does have little lines that I can kind of break up into the hours of the day and plan out my day that way. I couldn't find this one online, so I'm not sure if they still sell this one in person, but they have so many weekly planners. So I will link one similar down below. We have this little set of five plastic drawers. This one is actually Liam's one, but I have one pretty similar that I use to organize all of my receipts for tax. So if you're looking for a way to organize your uni classes, your tax stuff, bills, anything like that. This is such a great way. We just used our label maker to organize them into, for Liam, different classes. For mine, I organize it into different like categories, different months, stuff like that. But it is just so helpful. And the last organizational thing I have is this. This is my linen cupboard and these tubs, these tubs, and these little tubs here are all from Kmart. And I think these ones are about $5. I think these ones might be around five or $6 and I can't remember these ones. Maybe six, maybe eight, but just so affordable either way. Up here we have bath towels, hand towels, and tea towels. In these ones I have beach towels, gym towels, sheets for our bed, and then just like board games and puzzles. And down here I just have a bunch of miscellaneous things. So we have tools and stuff if we're, you know, like building flat packs. I have medical stuff, so tablets and medication and things like that. In here we just have random things that don't really have a spot anywhere else. And in here the label is falling off, but it's like extra bathroom things like bath bombs, toothpaste, face masks, stuff like that because we don't have a lot of storage in our bathroom. Moving on to kitchen stuff. The first thing, and probably like if you buy one thing out of this video, 
I feel like it should be this. This is my little rice cooker. I bought this when I first moved out of home in 2017. So again, I've had it for like four-ish years. And this was $13 and they still sell it now. I use this probably like two to three to four times a week, depending on what meals we're having that week. But having a rice cooker is the easiest thing in the world. It is so helpful. And for $13, like you can't say no. Another thing that I love from Kmart are their water bottles. This one is so good. It's just like a metal insulated one and this is so affordable. Maybe around five or six dollars. I'll have the exact price linked down below and I love the color of this one. They have a bunch of metal ones now but that is one of the ones that I have and I love. If you don't have a metal water bottle and you like cold water you need to get your hands on one. And the other one that I have that I recently picked up is this one here and I have been wanting a water bottle with a straw for the longest time. This one was seven dollars and it is pink and it has daisies on it. It is pretty cute but it is kind Kind of childish but I don't really care they have a few other patterns but I can't remember what they look like I just remember thinking that this was like the best option for me but I find that I drink so much more water with this because I kind of just like sip on it while I'm sitting at my desk or while I'm reading or doing whatever I'm doing the only downside to this one is it doesn't keep your water cold but I just feel like I drink so much water when I'm using this so I don't really mind I know that you can get more expensive water bottles that do have straw lids and that are metal but if you're looking for a more affordable alternative seven dollars get your hands on it and lastly i just want to recommend their glass containers these are two of the ones that i have i have this one in two sizes and if you take your lunch to work every day like you work in an office or you work you know somewhere where you have to take your lunch every day and you want to heat it up when you get to work these are the best because they have a little clip thing that you can obviously pop up and then pop it in the microwave and it makes it so easy you're not going to splatter it everywhere and I think these are literally the best thing ever when I was working at the primary school I used these every single day to put my lunch in and a couple weeks ago I picked up a few of these which are just like the bamboo lid glass containers and I feel like glass containers just keep your food feeling fresher for longer is that a fact I don't know but it just feels more fresh to me when I keep it in glass I use these for leftovers I use them to put like salad kind of stuff in I just love these and they also look very aesthetic with the bamboo lid if you want a Pinterest looking fridge and you want to do it affordably this is the way to go but those are all of my kitchen must-haves and our last category we have is other so any other item that I have that didn't really fit into a category I'm gonna show you those things now the first thing in this category has to be this wooden tray I actually keep it in our coffee table in the little like shelf there but this is literally the best thing ever so this is called a folding serve tray and it has these little foot I can't do this with one hand foldable legs Eek, that make it into a tiny little table so obviously you could use this if you're like eating on the couch but I mainly use it as like a portable desk this would be great if you have a picnic like there are just so many reasons why I feel like everyone needs one of these I'm pretty sure these were $15 but I'm sorry to say that this is one of the items that I don't think they have in stock currently I don't think they sell this at the moment however I feel like they surely have to bring it back and that's why I wanted to show you they do currently sell a plastic version of it which I will link down below it's like basically the same thing but made out of gray plastic and you could definitely use that for the exact same purpose it's just not as cute in my opinion but definitely just as functional welcome to my bathroom <laughs> this is the next thing I have to show you so random but I'm obsessed with it it is this toiletry bag and the reason why I love it so much is because it is clear and it is the perfect size I travel like semi regularly so I just keep my like travel size products in here because it's just way easier than unpacking it and repacking it every time so this bag doesn't come with any of these bottles but it does come with two smaller clear I don't know what you call it like bags basically just smaller versions of this and those are also so handy I use those when I travel to pack all of my charges in one and then the other one I put any medication tissues just like kind of like an emergency pack and I honestly love all of these pouches because since they're clear they're so easy to find everything that you need if you're trying to look for your toothbrush really easy to see it if you're looking for your shampoo really easy to see it and I feel like they're just the perfect size so eight dollars three pouches best purchase ever another random purchase 
disposable cameras. I feel like these are so trendy right now and I'm definitely obsessed with them too. And you can buy them from Kmart if you didn't know. You don't have to buy them from a camera store or anything like that. They sell them at Kmart and you can get them developed at Kmart too. In saying that, I do prefer to take those cameras and get them developed at a camera store because they do it way faster. Kmart can take like weeks and weeks, but you can technically get them developed there too. Another super random thing, essential oils. $3.25. I have the eucalyptus one and the peppermint one and obviously you can see especially the eucalyptus I've used heaps of and they are just way cheaper to get them at Kmart compared to other places that I've found them from. And the last thing that I have to show you guys are no show socks. I will put a little picture over the screen of what they look like when you buy them because this is what mine look like and they definitely don't look like this when you buy them because they're obviously in a cute little pack but you can get those types of socks in a pack of three for $2.50. Absolutely insane. And they're the type of socks that you can wear with sneakers that you can't see, if that makes sense. It doesn't look like you're wearing socks but you are. And they have so many different colors, so many different patterns. And I wear those socks almost every single day. If I'm not wearing longer crew socks, most of the time I'm wearing those $2.50 Kmart no-show socks. And that is everything that I have to share with you guys. I feel like I showed you so many things, but if I'm being honest, I could definitely do a part two of this video if you want to see it. So hopefully that gave you guys some ideas of either how you might use some of these products that you already own, or maybe gave you some ideas for what your next came up purchases may be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you want to see any came up related videos in the future. If you have a good idea, I'll definitely film it for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.